Hey, Hello, fifth graders! It's good to draw for you guys today. We're gonna do a fun little origami eye, so watch this. You can see that it's nice to see you. <laughs> nice. So look at this here. I'm gonna turn it this way, actually. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna learn how to do this. Um, the first step is we're going to do some folding. So if you have an eight and a half by 11 paper like Lucas and I, this is just regular printer paper, then you need to make it into a square. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this corner, okay, and you're going to fold it up until the edges meet on this side, okay? And then you're gonna crease like this. So I just made a triangle, okay? And then you cut off that excess strip. And your sleeve. Yes. Okay. And there we go. Yep. You're going to want to make sure that it's on a flat surface. And there we go. I'm going to take away this other paper so it doesn't get confusing. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm just Jackie. waiting Sorry. for Lucas. Um, just so he can stay on track with us. I got stabbed by one of the corners. It's totally fine. Take your time. You're opening this back up, okay? And then we'll get that out of your way. So we have a crease this way. Now we want to make a crease the opposite way. Just like this. And then do a nice crease. Yep. This way. Yep. The no. same way. No, you got it. You had it oh. right the first time. So just like that. Yep. Okay, so open it back up. Okay, so now we have a nice X. All right, so the next step is we're gonna take this bottom corner and, and we're going to put that corner to where the all four lines meet. Okay, and then crease it nicely. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that it's on your table nicely. There we go. Open it back up. Then we're gonna take this point again and see we made another X here. We're gonna put that point at that X, right like this. And then crease nicely. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then fold it again. Yeah. So just keep it just like this and then fold it up. Oh. Just like that, that's okay. And now we're gonna fold it again here so that this edge, okay, just like this, crease. So it mm -hmm. Okay, now turn it this way and you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna take this bottom corner and you're gonna put it to this middle fold, that very first fold, okay, just like this. Okay, open it back up. Then take the point down here and then put it here. Okay, good. Fold. fold it again. Fold again. And then fold again. Okay. It's like a little burrito. So it looks like a little burrito. And in our burrito, we are going to draw an eye because everybody likes eyeball burritos. <laughs> so right here, you need to know where to draw your eye. So basically, see this line and this line? You're gonna make, wanna draw your eyeball, the circle, right about here. So I would, if you have pencil, that's fine if you just wanna do it in pencil, but if you have a black something, um, crayon, um, black pencil, Sharpie, whatever, go ahead, and if you need to trace the circle, that's fine too. You have a black crayon right there. Oh, okay. Um, and it's okay if it's not a perfect circle, you guys. It's not a big deal. So I go ahead and I do a little highlight here. It's a little round dot right there. And then I do a pupil, which is a larger round shape, circle, like that, okay? Um, and you're going to color that in, that pupil, in black, just like that. My Sharpies are kind of running out. That's okay. Go ahead and uh, color your pupil in as well, kiddo. Yay! Yeah. Okay. All right, and so now we want to um, thicken up the outer 
rim of the eyeball just with a thicker black line, okay? Now, um, if you want to do your eye color, that's fine. So both Lucas and I have blue eyes, but when you look at your eyes in the mirror, usually, you guys, um, your eyes have, if let's say they have their brown eyes, they probably have a different, a few different shades of brown. The same goes for really any color eye. If you're lucky enough to have hazel eyes, then you're gonna have quite a few colors in there, right? I'm gonna do a blue eye. Um, and how I do that is I'm gonna pick two colors. Um, I've decided on uh, just a dark blue and then a turquoise. I'm gonna start with my lighter color and I do a nice dark rim all the way around. Okay, it's thin, but I'm pressing down pretty hard. And when you get to seventh grade, we do an eye study and we do a much uh, more detailed and realistic job of drawing an eye. And it's actually really cool. I do the same thing around the pupil. Okay, I've got like these little divots in my table that I keep hitting. Ay. Um, so go ahead and do that. Okay, then I shade uh, from this dark area, I start to shade up to the middle. So that means I'm pressing down hard, but then I gradually let off my pressure till it's um, almost white. And I do the same from the top down. So it's gonna be lightest kind of in the middle. I do that all the way around. So go ahead and do that. And I'm doing this with you. I could say, hey, just color in your eye, go for it. And if you want to do it that way, that's fine. But this makes it look actually really pretty. Um, there's a little more to it. Remember, I'm going to be shading um, another color in with this. And I'm also going to put texture. If you look in your look at your eye in the mirror um, closely, you can see that there's little lines that come out like this. And we are going to be making those lines too. Ooh. Yeah, and it's not hard at all. What are those lines called? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe ask Mr. Blacker. That's a good science question, anatomy question. Okay, so remember to do the shading from the iris out too. If you want, if you're using pencil, then you can um, blend a little bit with your fingertips too, like this. Colored pencil can be a little waxy, so sometimes it doesn't blend very good, especially if you don't have very good quality. Like mine aren't the best right now, but that's okay. Okay, so now I'm taking my darker and I'm going over, doing kind of the same tactic I just did. I'm putting a nice dark rim. Because when I uh, when I look at my eyes in the mirror, um, I have a kind of a darker blue rim all the way around. But I like that layer of that. Uh, and then I kind of blend up. Sorry, I'm interrupting myself. Um, I don't need to do as much shading as I did with the turquoise, but I am doing, I'm not pressing down quite as bit and I'm blending up into that turquoise. And I'm gonna do the same, I'm gonna do a nice dark, a dark rim around the pupil again, okay? And then blend just a little bit out with a lighter bit of that dark blue, okay? And you can see that I've got a nice uh, kind of highlight here, uh, right there. And now if uh, you wanna put texture in your eye, that's when you do um, just thin lines all the way around with both your colors. Okay. I'll hold this up closer when I'm done. I do the same coming up from the iris and don't forget to do it with both your colors, okay? And it's okay to get those lines into that wider area. In fact, I would suggest you do it. I press down and kind of lift up. So um, when I get, when I draw the line, because then it creates a little bit of a taper or a thinner aspect to the top of that line, okay? So anyway, that's kind of a fun little way to draw an eyeball. And again, in seventh grade, we'll go over that in way, way, way more detail. 
So I went ahead and here it is up close here. Okay, so fold her back up just like this, just like how we had it. Okay, make sure it's creased nicely. Okay, Lucas? Okay, and we can't, I'm gonna help you just a little bit because it has to meet in the middle right there. There we go, they can't overlap. I just don't really do that. <laughs> That's okay. All right, now flip it over. All right, now this is the line. If you need to half it to see a line, go for it. We've already made that line. So you can half it and crease it a little bit right here and then open it back up. So now you see this line here. We're gonna take this point and we're gonna bring it to the middle. Okay, and then crease nicely. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side just like that. Make sure it's nice and creased. Okay. And keep it on the table. There you go. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay. So now we've got this. Now we're going to take this top corner and we're going to bring this triangle so it kind of lines up right here. Okay. So I'm going to do this. I'm bringing it down and see this line of the triangle. And then I do a nice crease. So it looks like this. Okay, like that, yeah. Nice, Lucas. Okay, now open it up. You're gonna do the same thing with this triangle. Line it up with that top triangle. So it goes like this. And then you crease. Here, let me help with this. You gotta make sure this part gets there we go okay open that up uh, if you need to if you're right-handed I usually usually flip mine around so I can do the other side exactly like this but with my my right hand it just makes it easier you do the same thing you bring this down okay. and it meets the flat end and then you crease along the top here okay and then you do the same on the bottom Okay, it has to meet that top triangle, the bottom to the top. I'll help hang tight. Okay, so this, I think it's just because one side's a little taller than the other. Mm. It's not quite symmetrical, but that's, that's okay. That's what we can work with. Okay, you did great on that. Okay, so now we've got this part here. If you have a stapler, I would suggest stapling these together. Okay, we've got those slipped. You turn it around. It's an yes, eye. Yes, it's an eye. You just push your hands together to, to open it up. So you can flat, flatten it, and then boop, it's our eyeball. All right, so I hope you had a great time. And this is a fun little trick you can do, um, especially if you have younger siblings. I think they would totally love to be surprised by that. Okay, have a great day. Day, fifth graders. Bye. Bye.